We live in the age of information. Information is everywhere. From here to here to here to here to there to here. It's everywhere. We're constantly hit with so much information all the time. So much so that I believe that we're becoming desensitized from it. Nowadays, how often are we just bombarded with news from every single platform we use? How often is the news playing everywhere we go? People on the radio talking about it. People on here talking about it. People making videos about it. How often do we need to see it over and over and over again? And honestly, for me personally, I'm someone who enjoys learning about things, seeing different things that's happening around the world and being up to date with society and where it's going. That's not a bad thing. But the problem is we just get hit with so much that we've become desensitized to things. I remember during 2020, people were making jokes, like memes on Twitter about literally like World War III, making the funniest memes about it. And I remember sitting there laughing the whole time because, yeah, it's funny. You're going to sit there and laugh. But I was thinking, we've become so desensitized that we are joking about the end of the world. We are joking about literally war. War. We are joking about it because... We can't even fathom like the comprehension of this is real life because we get hit with it all the time that all there is to really do is make jokes of it, tease the situation because that's how we're coping. But again, that desensitization to these real issues and real problems is kind of scary. Even when it comes down to the constant media, I had a friend give me this analogy one day and he said, if I were to say, hey, I have a sandwich for you, what's the first thing you would say? I was like, uh, what's in the sandwich? And he was like, yeah, that's, that's, that is would be the response, right? That most people would say. I'm assuming that's what you would say as well. But then he got me thinking. He goes, so why don't we do that about the media we get? Why don't we do that about the news we see? I was like, wait, hold up. You might be on to something. Because why don't we do that? We receive this information. We receive this, this information through YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever it is, we receive this information on a plate. We look at it, take it, nom, 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 nom. We eat. But... We didn't even ask what was in the sandwich. Same thing with our media. We get fed so much information, 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 information. And we're not even thinking, yo, is this real? Where is this information coming from? Is this actually what's happening? What is happening on the other side? We are not asking ourselves that question of why, what's in the sandwich. So again, ask yourself nowadays, what's in our media? Make sure you ask that question because with all that information that's out there, you have to have a filter system. You have to be able to do it yourself, right? Don't just wait for some AI to do it for you. No, you have to go out of your way to do it because that's how you're going to learn and build those brainwave synapses of understanding how to filter things naturally. And then trusting your intuition as well, where you have to kind of look at something and think, I don't know if I believe that 100%. Think about it. And that's something I started noticing with the information we started getting in our lives. And yeah, we're in the digital revolution. Information is everywhere. At a tip of a button, we can use Google and find anything we want to learn, right? And it's awesome. It's a great tool. But again... We also can get distracted in so many ways. So make sure we have a focus and go after the information that you want to learn about. And it's kind of tough because when you become desensitized to so many things in life, you're going to have less happiness, less sadness, less anything. You're going to live in this melodramatic vibe. You're going to be one bland experience because you become so desensitized to happiness and sadness. It's just, and that's wrong. We need to allow ourselves to remove ourselves from this constant media, 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 constant information at least sometimes because we need to take a breath. We need to relax. People go on these retreats where you see all these movies and films talking about like, oh, the billionaire went on this retreat and now he's in Zen mode and this is where he's crafting his next idea because he's all alone in the mountains. But again, it's important to do that even if you're not a billionaire sitting in the Himalayan mountains. Make sure you go out of your way to kind of have that vibe, that energy, that Zen mode and remove the distractions, remove the constant 24 seven news cycle from your life, right? 24 seven news, imagine. Every hour of the day, there's someone telling someone about the news, the news, the news, the news. Again, take a deep breath, distract yourself from all that clutter, all that noise, and just take that deep breath. Even when it comes to visual overload, right? Even when I watch some YouTube videos, I'm just thinking in my head now of making videos, you think of all oh, the editing process, right? In the first like 10 seconds of a video, listen to how many sounds someone uses or how many times the audio will flash and move. I tend not to want to do those things because I know that it's good for hooking people into the video, but it's so crazy when you start to think it's so much, it's all these things, but we don't even realize how much it is. If you were to show that same video to someone when they were younger, you'd be like, this is crazy. I was interviewing a teacher and she told me that when Sesame Street had come out and she was kind of telling me different things about it and how it was hooking all the kids to the TV and it was teaching them and learning. But then Sesame Street came out with something where it was like flash, 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 all these different lights. And parents went bonkers. They were like, yo, get rid of that. It's destroying my kid. And Sesame Street ended up taking it away. So it made me wonder, but now 
you have Coco Melon, all these different shows, these kid shows, go to watch any episode on YouTube or anything, right? Look how fast the scenes and the screens change. Just literally look how fast it is. And then we wonder why we have an attention deficit problem. We wonder why kids have no attention spans because we're literally changing the screen every two seconds, every two seconds, and that's insane. That's not healthy for their brains. They're literally developing a dopamine addiction to constant change, constant change. So obviously when they go into school by third, fourth, fifth grade, they're distracted every five seconds and they don't wanna sit there in a math class. Math is sometimes is boring, so they're not entertained. So then test scores end up going down. Communication skills go down. And again, it's this giant web of just downfall behaviors because of how much dopamine we're getting hit, how much information, information, different media sources. And you as a parent, you as a student, you as a person, as an individual, have to understand this is happening to us. So one by one, we have to figure out a way to sensitize ourselves again and actually understand the impact and implications of what's happening to us. And again, me personally, someone who wants to create content and talk to people, I have to think about this myself and think, okay, I need to be making meaningful content. I need to make sure that if I am talking, I am giving information, it's real stuff, right? I'm not sitting here BSing and just talking about anything or just making up random things. No, there's that focus. There's something about improvement. And that's something that I've always believed in and spreading a good positive message. Whether or not it gets the most views, most clicks, I don't care. As long as it's a good message and it reaches one person, I'm content and then I'm happy. Because I understand that just having one person gain something from a video like this is more important than getting millions of people watch something that's just gonna distract them and manipulate them into doing something that they don't wanna be doing. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate the love, the support. It means the world to me. Like I make this kind of content because I genuinely care about this to talk to people about it, to use my voice, to actually have an impact. And if you feel the same way or you have different things you wanna add on to, please leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to try to read all the comments and reply to as many people as I can because again, it's something I care about and it's something I really am passionate about. Be sure to follow, share, subscribe, and I really do appreciate the love and support and I'll see you next time.